Hello friends, Monica here from Wicked Aviary. So with uh, Halloween past, I thought I would be turning towards uh, Christmas and lighter things. And then I was asked to make a Krampus mask and I got really excited. <clears throat> now Krampus uh, in Europe uh, goes along with uh, Santa Claus, which comes uh, December the 6th. And uh, Krampus is the Punisher and uh, people still dress up and they've been doing this for hundreds of years in Europe and it's really fascinating uh, subject if you want to dive into uh, but uh, this is going to be quite a project so I'm going to have more than one part and in this part here I'll be showing you how to make horns now I made those horns I was told to make them big and uh, this is it now uh, again I'm using just simple material here so I am using paper clay, uh, just regular, uh, um, a lighter cardboard like uh, a cereal box and uh, glue and some newspaper, that's it. Um, I uh, have a pattern for you, you can uh, print off my website wickedaviary.com and at the end of the video I will be explaining a little bit more about the pattern and if you do not have paper clay I'll give you some alternatives how to decorate the horns but for now let's go make some horns okay so for the horns I made a pattern here so actually two I started with this one I made this one a little bit bigger on the base here and then I made a skinnier one I don't know which one is going to work yet so I probably end up making both but for now I am going to cut those apart so I have a pattern to work with Okay, now that we have a pattern, let's trace it onto paper. This one here is a little bit heavier. It's not as heavy as a cereal box paper. So if you have a big cereal box, go ahead, use that, or you can paste them together. And uh, this is, of course, not a unicorn. Make sure you cut it in the double. You're going to need two sets of horns. All right, so I have the parts here, and I don't know if you can see it, the marks here make sure you transfer them on to both sides so we have six pieces here now let's put them together like this there and you can see it's starting to bend into the direction we want it so continue make sure you put the right pieces together Okay, now see, I closed uh, the two seams here well, made sure the notches are uh, matching. And now before I close the whole, whole horn, I want to just give it some support with uh, aluminum foil. So I just crumpled some up, put this inside without uh, changing the shape here. There and now I'm closing it and uh, this will give it some support, I hope. And there we go. So this is already, well, strong I'm sure at this point you still can rip it apart. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other horn which of course is the mirror uh, image of this one here. Put it together, notch on notch. Everything is covered nicely. They're looking good. And for the next step to make them even stronger, I'm going to cover them with some newspaper and glue. So this is straightforward and easy. Okay, so one is done. Now on to the next one. Okay, this is the next day. My horns are nice and dry and they are big. Now all I have to figure out is which one will I use. Okay, 
I just wanted to quickly show, very difficult to film here by the window, how the horns will look on the mask. Now, uh, I'm not going to talk about the mask yet. This is going to be in the second video. But uh, uh, I like it. They look good. So this is those are the bigger ones. So, okay, let's continue. Okay, so I'm rolling out my paper clay. And now... Let's cover my horn with it. Take those spacers away. Let's take the excess away here and just you now start working it. Okay, so now I don't want it too heavy, so I just pull off and redistribute it. And um, here, kind of like on top, so I just pull it off and Okay, so this is about it. Um, giving a little bit of uh, a design here at the edge, and um, I think this is good enough. I am going to let this dry now. And here we are. This is the next day. They are dry and light and looking gorgeous. I gave them a little light sanding and now I'm going to go ahead with my usual black base coat. Okay, now we got black. Now let's add some colors. Now, what I do is I just add different shades, different colors with the dry brush. That means I put paint on it and then I wipe it on a cloth um, to almost dry and then put it on. And um, it's trial and error. Some I like and some I don't. And I just paint over again. All right, here are my horns. They are painted and good enough for now. I'm sure I probably will add more once they are mounted onto the mask. But for now, this is it. Now, so in order to make that, you will need a pattern. And uh, I provided that on uh, my website where you can uh, print it. Now, uh, just a few explanations here. Of course, this is very long, so I had to put it on two pages and uh, hopefully you will understand my logic here. So the pattern pieces are uh, one, two, three, so they are not in order here, but uh, you just match, you have to cut out. Okay, you have to cut out the pieces. And then I put two lines here, and all you have to do is match the lines, I'm sure. There. Number two, number two, and then just match those two lines, and you have a piece. So once uh, you have this, the paper to use is uh, ideal would be like a cereal box uh, heaviness, uh, but uh, I did not have any, and I used this paper here. I don't know if it's what what kind of heaviness it is, but it you can tell it is not that heavy but it worked well i just really needed to support it with aluminum foil and uh, 
what else? Um, oh, also very important. I forgot to add some uh, this little flap here. Now this flap will help add uh, put it onto the mask, right? And I did not add this on the pattern, so the pattern ends here. So on piece number one and two, just add a little bit, maybe an inch, you know, a couple of centimeters. Just add a bit. Uh, make sure you you mark the line here so you know where to fold it. Uh, do I have another one here? Yes. Like this, right? Then you have something to hold on to uh, when you mount it on the mask. And uh, what else? Oh, maybe another tip when you uh, put the paper clay on uh, with any tool you use, just dip that tool in water. Uh, that helps uh, smooth out the clay and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I am just so thrilled for all the people who leave messages and uh, ask questions and especially those ones who actually make uh, the projects. Thank you so much for that. And uh, on that note, this is uh, Monica from Wicked Aviary. Thank you so much for being here with me and um, I'll see you soon with the mask. Ciao for now. Oh, wait, it's not finished yet. I forgot. I uh, promised to mention uh, uh, how you could finish it in case you don't have any paper clay. Now, in my uh, video, how to make a plague doctor mask in a day, I used a technique just using glue and tissue paper. So if you want to watch that, uh, that is a, a neat little technique that you can easily use to just cover the horn after you, of course, uh, uh, strengthen it with the paper and um, the glue. Uh, that's a neat little technique, so you can omit the paper clay. And uh, I think this is now it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, for real.